Hello again, this is Max of CryptoZilla channel. Today a big update, BitCountry Pioneer app is live and near staking for Bit has been launched, so I'll go through all the details. You can use the timestamps down below to skip ahead. You can stake your near in material campaign on the Pioneer app to receive Bit every 24 hours. Bit is in-game utility token. Staking in material campaign is fundamental to BitCountry as everyone will need Bit to build in their metaverse as well as to craft wearable NFTs and activation passes. Bit will be also burned through other in-metaverse activities such as building the bunker and customizing a metaverse homepage. These are all the utilities of Bit. I'm surprised to see XCM channel for both Bit and Near is planned to be open soon, meaning Bit and Near will be enabled for cross-chain transfers between parachains. This makes me think Bit could be tradable and listed on DEXs on Moonriver and maybe also on Karura. Every 24 hours a set amount of bit tokens is mined, the amount is subject to change to avoid inflation and will depend on the overall amount of bit in the circulation. So if users burn their bit, then more bit will be mined to increase bit circulation and if not much bit is being burned through in metaverse activities, the amount of bit mined per round will be reduced. Bit is distributed in the material campaign into four categories, currently only near staking is enabled and estate staking is coming soon. To stake your near on Pioneer app, first connect your wallet down here, then go to staking. Here you can see how much time and blocks left till the next round. Click staking, then stake near, add the amount of near you wanna stake, the minimum amount to stake is 100 near. Click stake and sign with your password. After you staked, you will see your staked near balance here, I'm currently staking 100 near. Here you can unstake, you will need to wait till the end of the current round to redeem your stake near. After clicking on total percentage, you will see your ranking in the staking pool. Here is the bit reward that you are receiving for the current round. This bit will be claimable in the next round. And here is your current total claimable bit. You will be able to claim a bit reward every 24 hours. Once claimed, you will see this notification and will have to wait a while for your bit to be delivered to your wallet. I received bit into my wallet after 2 hours. To check your near and bit balance, go to my wallet. Here is your connected wallet. Here are your near coins, total near balance, transferable balance, near reserved in staking and locked near balance. Here is your bit material and energy sources. After claiming bit reward from staking, you will see your bit here. You will need to deposit your on-chain bit balance to your bit spot wallet here. Your bit spot account will be used to cover the cost for crafting NFTs and also to submit transactions inside the metaverse with no transaction fees. At this moment, near staking is the only method to earn a bit. The more near you stake in material campaign, the higher is your stake ranking and the more bit reward you will receive per each mining crown. Now what will be bit used for? Mainly for building in your metaverse, bit is burned when you place and remove voxel blocks, props and NFTs in your metaverse or in your bunker. Your bit will only be burned if you save the changes that you make. Also for crafting NFT metaverse objects such as avatar wearables and activation passes. After minting these metaverse objects, they'll appear in your wallet as NFTs. Activation passes are different from wearables because they grant you a specific utility and access privileges. And also for modification of the Metaverse homepage, Metaverse owners will be able to use the Pulse News Feed page to communicate with their communities, so posting messages to the feed will also burn bit. And also for customization of estates, so there is a great amount of utility for bit. Land distribution and estate creation features will be released in the Xenoform event, which is scheduled for early October. So you can already create your Metaverse, but the sale of land blocks will take place in early October. To create your metaverse, click home and then create a metaverse. The cost is 15 year. Click create metaverse project and sign with your password. Once created, you will see this notification and your metaverse project will be added here on the left bar. Now click on your created metaverse, go to settings to change the name and description. To build in your metaverse, you will first need to deploy a land block. So early in October during this Xenoform event, 
you will need to purchase a raw land block in a public auction land sale and then to deploy your land block into your metaverse to be able to build there. One raw land block is made of 100 individual land units. The size of one land unit is 10 meters by 10 meters, thus the size of one land block is 10,000 square meters of virtual land. It won't be needed to buy the whole land block as it can be subdivided into many estates and those estates can be sold or transferred to other users. On this picture, this whole square is one land block. This land block can be subdivided into 100 of these small squares, which are land units. The size of one land unit is 10 meters by 10 meters, and the group of land units forms an estate, so those six pink land units is one estate owned by one wallet. So now we can better know how big will be the land in Chaos Land, which Crowd Long contributors will receive. If you contribute it somewhere around 1 to 2 KSM, you will get 4 land units in Chaos Land, so you will receive 4 of these little squares, which are 10 meters by 10 meters each. If I am counting correctly, 4 land units will give you 400 square meters of virtual land in a Chaos Land Metaverse. If you just wish to practice building for free without burning your bit, you can try this Sandpit feature. The Sandpit is a Metaverse space that allows you to learn how to build with voxel blocks and how to place 3D assets. Remember, nothing is saved in the sand pit, so when you exit the sand pit, all your buildings and 3D assets that you have built will be cleared. To enter the sand pit, click your wallet and sand pit. Now, what is a bunker and how to use it? The bunker will serve as your private gallery. To get access to the bunker, you will need to hold a bunker activator NFT. There are two options how to get it. You can either craft it by burning 144 bit or you can buy a bunker activator NFT with your near or NFT marketplace. In your bunker, you will burn a bit to save placement or a removal of voxel blocks and 3D assets in your metaverse. You will be also able to show off your bunker to your friends by sharing the URL link or simply hang out in the bunker together by activating a multiplayer. The bunker has a limited space for building and also features a secret vault where you can store all your NEAR and BIT tokens. This is how a bunker looks like. You will see there all your NEAR and BIT as blocks. All Metaverse objects fall into two categories, wearable NFTs and activation passes. Metaverse objects are crafted as NFTs using BIT and once you collect them, you can view them in your wallet. Everyone can also list wearables and activation passes for sale on NFT Marketplace. In the Metaverse, you will be represented by your avatar. The appearance of your avatar can be customized by changing its wearables and the skin color. So once you have crafted some wearable NFTs, you can dress up your avatar to make him look as you desire. Activation passes will work like Metaverse keys. Holding a certain pass will unlock a specific Metaverse utility. Currently, there are these three activation passes available, each of them enabling different functionalities. Bunker activator pass that grants access to the bunker. Also, there is an NFT authorization activator that allows a Metaverse owner to accept NFT listing requests for their local Metaverse marketplace. And the third activation pass is NFT search activator enabling this functionality. You can craft wearables and activation passes under craft Metaverse object tab. Two types of objects, NFT passes and wearables. Three types of NFT passes and currently four types of wearables. You will need bit to craft both passes and wearables and here is the cost. So there is quite a lot to learn about how to use the Pioneer app. Personally, for now, I'm just staking all my unlocked near to generate enough bit so that I can craft some wearable NFTs. So the next upcoming big update will be the sale of land blocks that will begin during the Senoforum event in early October. And the land units in Chaos Land will be claimable and distributed to your wallets soon after Senoforum event in October. That's been it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.